Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages, I am here in my storage. I got this guy, his name is Pickers Warehouse. What's up, guys? And we are gonna go through this right here. I got a little idea, Justin. What's that? We have two tables here, one table and two tables. This will be your table, this will be my table. And we each randomly pick boxes like we're doing, but we're gonna see who could unbox the most valuable amount of stuff in this short film. So what we're picking, You'll keep your stuff on that side, and I'll keep my stuff on this side. And at the end, we'll see who's had more value. So good, bad, ugly, all the finds are going to be laid out? Pretty much. If you don't want to enter it in and you don't think it's valuable, I will just put it where we've been putting it. And then uh, tune in to Picker's Warehouse TV on YouTube to see me go hard on my hand with this knife. Really? No. Oh. <laughs> We're going to get started. Before we do, I'm going to get the like button, the share button, subscribe, say something pretty, and make sure you got all notifications set to all. This segment for this segment, we're gonna do a battle of the unboxings of the $34,500 storage unit. Grab the box, you gotta go with it. You can't pick it up and set it back down. That's right. I think I screwed up when I grabbed the village first. Oh, that's a cool looking one, though. I think Candy's not the top of the This is probably the coolest piece I've found so far. But I want to show this one because it is kind of freaking cool. And we got to see everything for the competition. I'm going to let Mike that. tell us. Oh, wow. It's a water tower. Yeah, tell me that ain't dope. You ever made love in the top of a water tower? <laughs> I haven't yet either, but I want to. I mean, that's a goal. What a good goal. So I got a little train buddy. We're going to have to have Mike tell us who has more value because I don't know trains that Oh, I got to do the honesty part. Got to do it. Well, we bet $500 on this, so. That is at least a $30, $40. Train. <laughs> Actually, let me see. It is a tender, right? Mm -hmm. It is Lionel. It's got metal. That is probably 20, 25 bucks. All right, we're catching up. Catching up. Where's it? Ooh, this is different. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. You uh, know what that is? The Royal Crown. Yeah, look, let's see. We got one bottle, Royal Crown RC Cola. We got two bottles, Royal Crown RC Cola. We got three bottles. Royal Crown RC Cola. Four, five bottles. Oh, there's six. Look at that. See that? Complete. I like think. He completed the set. Six bottles of Royal Crown. I got to look that one up real quick. I got I just. You ever had a stalker? I mean, I was in a punk band for years, so no. <laughs> it's, I know it's not storage stalker. I have with the red on there. But you can see just the empty container close to it is 32 bucks. That's probably a, a darn near $100 bill, I speculate. Guys, this is just packed so well, and I don't want to rough house with it. Do we, should we have a limit on how many boxes we take to do it, Tim? It should be uh, 10 boxes. Because right now, I'm going through the boxes, and I'm already ahead of the game, because I'm on my third box, and you're still on box number two. But I'm about to blow you out of the water, though. And you, you know I am too. I haven't been blowing out the water in a while. It's gonna happen. Mike, the person blowing is in the water. Oh, guys. Look, there's another one. Dutch Masters quality cigars. We're sitting at 150 right there. There's 150. Wee doggy. What do you make of that? I make that of this. Look I'm going that. one, two, three. What's this? Box number four. What's this heavy beast worth? That's an engine, guys. Honestly, probably 20 bucks. Really? It's not a super fancy one. Look, and you're missing the smokestack piece, which is probably inside your box. Damn it! And they packaged it so well. Oh, were there two pieces? There was two pieces in that one box. Oh, wow. We're gonna, I'm going to have to take a break when I'm here in a minute to catch up a little bit. Here we go on my box number four. Oh, look at that. Look. $30 bill. I found a box of about a hundred of these doors. Can you believe that? That's very nice, but it's no Lionel electric train. Uncle Mike always likes to point out that it says electric train. What do you think that is? That is war era. I'm going to guess 60 bucks. I'm going to guess you're right. Well, it's not here. I touched this one first, so I have to go with it. I'm afraid this has many little packages, though. <laughs> We're going to two boxes. Oh, great. It's the paperwork box. This one's... What are these? I'm scared of the little boxes potentially in this. <laughs> it's a Luxor collection. 
Kurt S. Adler Luck. Ooh. Okay. Look at that. $26 for this, right? Yes. $26 for that one Christmas ornament. You guys know well, what that's worth today? $24. Look. Two. Three. Four. That's cute, Mike. <laughs> Five. Brass engine. Six. <laughs> Is there a tender with that? All right, let's... Because you're looking at 250 bucks in that one. No tender, so I just jumped Are in you the sure? You look in there a little bit more? I'm going to dig again, but... It's very small. It's... Can I, uh... There's just a lot... I had like six jokes for that, but I had to keep... This one's made in Egypt. You don't find that very often. They used to call Mike the cheese puff in high school. When did you talk to Harold? I talk to Harold every time I'm at the market because he's supposed to bring me toys. You know that one guy who's always like, I'll have it next weekend? That's Harold. He never has it next weekend. No. He never had it in the beginning. He's just... No, yeah. But he he's trying to get something off of you, and then he's using what he doesn't have as a tool. With the stuff he showed me, I was okay with him middlemanning it because it was incredible stuff, but it never came through. But yeah, I like to talk to Harold. Something about his English accent makes my day better. Perfect size box for these, isn't it? A Delton Locomotive Works. Yeah, Stroh's Beer. Brewery. You need any of this for uh, hair dye? No, I could use a little uh, Isn't that what band members do? They do hair dye stuff? We used to wear girl pants. Ooh, look at this. It's not a Grateful Dead uh, Frisbee, that's for sure. The Grateful Dead Frisbees fly just so elegant. Nike like. shirt, used. Used goes right over there. bag within a box. Nice, there you go. Not bad, guys. This is a... Uh, and there's, there's bags inside of it. Ooh, are they bags of bags? We've got what looks like a new coach bag. Yes. And within that coach bag bucks. is... Is it another coach bag? Another coach bag. And... I found one of those before. Another coach bag. Red Cross. What do you think those three bags are worth? Total, maybe uh, at least 50, 60 bucks. Right? Right. Look at this. But what, what drink is it? Let's see. Pants and jeans. There's an old one. I have no idea what those are worth. We keep finding them. I wish he collected Pepsi or Coke. Is that 1936 or is that just when they copyrighted it? That's both. Look at that. That's old. Come on, hands and feet. I can see you wearing this one, Justin. Look at that. Oh, the, my Komodo, you found it. That is old. What size is that? Yours. I like it. Come on. We got them Jordashes. <laughs> Look. Those aren't bad. I don't know if I'm going to enter this in the contest, but... Right, fat guy in a little Cutler. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know what? Oddly, these are probably expensive pairs of pants. Does this fit or what? Look, Psyker Pleat. They it does. Let me see. What do you guys think? <laughs> yeah. No. Is that me? Oh, Thirty dollar box of jeans, maybe forty bucks tops in a perfect world. We got them Lees. Now I'm in six boxes. All right, one, two, three, four. This will be my sixth box here. I'm going to bring the heat. There's seven, six, seven, eight. I'm going to go with nine and ten now so I get this out the way. All right. Just a little uh, train park. The title is He Picked My Warehouse. I just want to know, how did this guy have time to work when he's shopping this time, all this time? I wonder if I had the same thing with my phone's ringing and with my stalker keep messaging me. How does this guy have time to work as much as we spend stalking him? He might not be working. Man. Something. Look at this. Oh, a cheap one of those. And then we come over here and we got the nice one of those. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's a hundred bucks gone wrong. Hear ye, hear ye. Don't worry, that's just my stalker. Who that is? That's just my stalker. One, two, three. Justin, you ever thought about uh, putting a restraining order on somebody? Think about it? Yeah. Shout out to the Second Amendment. Yeah, shout out to stalkers. <laughs> this guy is... 
Not uh, well, that wasn't a shout out to the stalkers, Thor stalker, uh, but actual real life stalkers who don't uh, who don't have lives and need something to do. But meanwhile, shout out to Alex and Liz. <laughs> shout out to both. Yeah. Come on, boxes. We need to get you. Okay, we got another. Oh, this one's had a little bit of a rough day. The bell broke. Nope, it's just loose. This one is a train car, locomotive, probably about a $75 sale. And this is my last and final box in this 10 box challenge with me in Pickers Warehouse. I got a little boat. <laughs> it's a schooner. I would not be going around bragging about it. I got a little boat. I got a little boat. You guys want to know where I dock it? Here is $75 right here. How many boxes you got to go? I have two more. He's got two more. Boxes to go. I'm done with mine, so we're just going to come over here. Oh, look at that. What goes on there? Missile domicile. A missile domicile, of course. i got to keep this interesting since I'm lagging. Um, so, how's your guys' day going? My day's going great, all, uh, all stalkers aside. All stalkers aside. So you can't say who it is. Uh, people have seen him. People have seen him. Let's just say it's a fictional character in the long saga of Store Dogs and Pirate Tree. Yeah, so. Ooh! Oh, look at the copy cam over here. Look at this. 75 bucks. Is it? It's an outhouse. Oh, it's a toilet house. It's a ladies' <laughs> potty. Why has it got to be a ladies' potty? Well, it says ladies. Oh. Yeah. Well, you know who bought this. He's not going to buy the men's toilet. Should we open it? No. If it's a lady's bathroom, I should give it to my stalker because that's what he acts like a lady. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of strong ladies out there. I'm calling my stalker out today. I've had it. I was raised by a woman only. I was raised by wolves. I was raised by, wolves. I was raised by a woman and my wife's a woman and those are the two strongest women I know. I love women. Yeah, they're like a... I just don't care for guys that act like women. The last piece in the... Uh, that's your 10th box? I think so, right? Yeah. Okay. That's my 10th box, and it's a good one. Is that a good one? Um. <laughs> it's, ooh, ooh, look at that. There's a helicopter. It freaking launches helicopters. So we're liking this one, and it does. It has a little gear. See that, guys? There's a little gear in there, so this buddy comes up. Is it a Richard gear? I think it's a Richard gear. Now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, because we have half here and half here. Did you guys count that he do 10 boxes? I feel I like he didn't do 10 boxes. I think I did. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. And I did ten. Let's go over mine real quick. I think that's about a $70 bill. That is virtually useless. This is about a $7,500 bill. This is a $100 box, $30 box, another darn near useless. There's over $100 in Christmas ornaments, about $140 in these two trains. The Coke thing, I put at $100. And what was in here? I forget. Oh, the water tower, $30, $40. Bucks. Unsh what's, I don't, did you add all that up, Justin? I didn't. I can't if you want oh, to do it. No, I don't. It's, we'll just go continue. Let's go with, he got about 85 bucks worth of stuff. Here, he's got very similar. These are about 80 to 100, I think. They're Delta, and they're a little nicer because they're breweries. This is 60. This is probably 30. This is like 10. You got a couple of trinkets here. That train, if you would have found the tender, too, was a $260 sale, as you've already seen. But think, actually, man? this one's a little nicer because if you look, there's a nameplate on it, and it says, precision engineered in japan that steel is probably 150 right there that is 75 the helicopter itself without the train sells for 30 i've seen them before that is at least a 50 dollar bill and you got 60 in purses so you guys do the math tell us in the comments who won yeah i said let's let let's let the subscribers vote one for pirate two for picker they're both peas and they both sounds great so don't just put p and there's there's uh more stuff there but which pile would you rather have? Some people might want the bags and the train stuff. Some people might want these lame, uh, all this lame stuff. If you think Justin won, go to his channel and subscribe. I'll put the link below, Pickers Warehouse. If you think he won, subscribe to his channel. If you think I, I won, subscribe to my channel. Is that fair? And the schooner. Schooner. And with that being said, don't forget the like button, the share button, the subscribe button, and say something pretty like, I like peas.